so today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I will be getting hey guys welcome back to my channel I hope you like the little makeshift setup I kind of did this mainly because um, um, I am using a, a different camera not a new camera my, my sister's camera because my camera is I think it needs a new battery and we're just trying to figure out what's wrong with it because yeah it has been a little bit weird over the past few months but yeah so I'm using my sister's camera but it's, this camera is so hard to deal with because the lighting is so weird with it so I have to like be up and down trying to figure out what to do how I can sit what so I just decided that I'm going to do, do this little makeshift um, background I hope you like it I don't know I kind of feel in the vibe I think I want to my background to be like this like yeah in the future but this is my little setup yeah and uh, we just did as you can see our acne skincare routine and so forth I just gave you a little some little clips and little snippets of my routine mm -hmm. and I went in with a lot of gloss not sure why but yeah I just wanted my, my lips to be extremely glossy oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was overshadowed by the darkness of night My was beating the very top as a stone I was blinded by the fears of the sky There was no comfort between my heart and mine All I have to do is just to wait So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I will be getting for this season, for this era, like for this me, because as you know, yes guys, so as I was saying, I just recovered from a really, really bad, not really, really bad breakup, but yeah, some two pimples that they were extremely big and yeah, kind of recovered, still have the little dark spot here working on it yes and i shared my acne routine with you so yeah so today we're gonna be talking about some things that i will be getting some new skincare products that i will be getting mainly because i think i need it right now yeah and my skin is actually going through a little bit of you know recovery from acne and so forth so i think i want to i think this is time for me to include some of these um ingredients skincare ingredients mainly because of the benefits that they're going to offer me and also because i'm getting older or i'm older <laughs> yeah it's now it's it, it's time to stop saying i'm getting older i'm older now so it's it's time for me to start including these in my routine i've been shying away from you know taking them on but now i believe if you hear noise it's a construction going on upstairs so yeah I've been shying away from these ingredients for a while now and mainly because I was like thinking to myself that I'm not ready for them yet and whatever I'm using is working for me so I don't have to really think about them just yet but I know that eventually I'm going to have to include them into my routine and I've already started to use one of them in my routine but I'm going to add some more stuff to it you know what I'm saying yeah okay so some of the skincare ingredients that I am going to be including in my routine are I wrote them down I'm going to be start I'm going to start using copper peptides more consistently mm -hmm. so I've been using this particular copper peptide from cliff and uh, 
because of the benefits of the copper copper peptides copper peptides actually help to um, decrease fine lines wrinkles it actually increase the collagen uh, in the skin and elastin in the skin so the skin can be a little bit more plump and firmer yes and copper peptide peptide can actually help with um, hyperpigmentation yeah so I want to include that into my routine I'm going to be getting the cleft copper peptide the mask yeah they're going to give me some so I'm going to be using that for consistent like maybe like three to four months consistently because I really really want the improvements I want to see the improvements in my skin so I can you know yes so I really want to start using the copper peptide because I want even skin tone and I want to ensure that I am taking care of my skin as I am aging. Okay, so so the ordinary has a copper peptide, uh, good molecules. I was researching this um, brand, good molecules. They have a copper peptide and the clef hydrating copper um, clef uh copper peptide the mask serum mask i was looking at all of them so the clef is like maybe 35 us for um for one pack 35 or 39 us for one pack of five and i think they say that you should use it like two two of the packs per month it's ideal to get, see results so if i'm going to get that every month i would have to get like two the ordinary one is a little bit more what do you say now the ordinary is more expensive but i think that because like most of the ordinary products they are very concentrated they don't really have any other ingredients apart from what they say they have in it you know what i'm saying so i think that 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 one is a little bit more potent i would say just from you know looking at it but I'm, i've never experienced it so i can't really say whether or not it's potent but i would say it looks to me that you know maybe that's the reason why it's more expensive but i'm not sure and then you have the good molecules one it's for like 12 dollars it's a copper peptide peptide serum and that that's for 12 us dollars so i'm also not sure if yeah so i'm also not sure if that is as potent i don't know which one of them is more potent but i'm gonna start off first with the cleft hydrating i mean the cleft copper peptide i used it twice already some time ago i don't quite remember which month but and i enjoyed using it but i want to use it more often i want to use copper peptide in my routine or in my skincare routine more often so i'm going to look into getting that actually i have some copper peptide peptide coming in so we're going to try use it for a consistent three months just to see if it improves my skin or so forth if not we move on to something else but we're good we're going to continue to use that so the copper peptide is going to be in my routine my skincare routine okay then the next thing that i really really want to try i've said it before i want to try retinol okay i want to try retinol why retinol actually it almost does the same thing as copper peptides but the only difference with um copper peptides and retinol is retinol is very um what do you say no it's very like uh aggressive on the skin especially if you have sensitive skin or like anybody that goes in with retinol there is a chance that you might experience like like a breakout like purging period what you call it purging or you can experience flaking and so forth but i haven't used it yet so i can't really speak to that but usually based on what i've seen so far people some people experience purging period flaking and so forth and that's because um retinols actually increase the cell turnover yeah so it is forcing the, the cells to recreate new cells new skin cells some people believe that retinol actually thins out the skin but it doesn't really thin out the skin what it actually do is it renews the skin because it you are increasing your cell turnover so it's actually going to increase collagen it's supposed to increase elastin it's supposed to ensure that your skin is stronger okay because it's renewing your skin okay so it's not supposed to make your skin weak it are thinner as some people would say okay so this is the reason why i want to try um retinols in my routine and i'm 
going to get it i have decided that i want to go in with the ordinary i was thinking of getting um the cerave but i when i looked at the cerave i realized so the cerave is a little bit more like gentler on the skin it's going to work like a retinol but it's going to be a little bit gentler and uh, for example it has the cerave has niacinamide hyaluronic acid and so forth i already have niacinamide and those things in my routine so i don't really want to add more i want a product that's going to actually target the purpose or carry out its purpose for example i want it to be concentrated to work directly on what i want it to work on i don't want it to be mixed with anything so this is the reason why i'm going to go with the ordinaries retinol and plus i can start at 0 0.2 0 0.5 or 0 or one percent so I can decide whether or not I want 0.5, 1, do I have 2%? No. I can decide if I want 0 0.2, 0 0.5 or 1% retinol. So I'm going to go with the ordinary because it's concentrated and that's what I actually want, a concentrated form of retinol. I don't want anything that's already mixed with any other ingredients. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I'm going to choose the Ordinary over CeraVe. As I said before, retinol actually increases your cell turnover. Okay? Yes. And also, when using retinols or any skincare that is actually working like this to increase the ceramide collagen in your skin and so forth, you're not going to really see improvements until after three months. So after three months of consistent use or 12 weeks then you will see the improvements that you want this is why i really want to try retinol so we're just going to use them and to see how best we can incorporate them into the routine okay and the next thing that i really really want to try is vitamin c and you're gonna be like oh my gosh girl you haven't been using vitamin c no i haven't and the reason why i haven't been using vitamin c is because i have been using alpha arbitin and alpha arbitin is actually going to inhibit the melanin from producing in my skin and the vitamin c actually does that too inhibit melanin production but guess what the vitamin c is an anti antioxidant so it so it helps to protect the skin against the free radicals that would that comes from the uv ray that would damage the skin cells okay so this is the reason why i want to include it because i want to protect my skin and i want to brighten yes so i believe that during the day i need more protection against the sun so apart from my sunscreen i need some antioxidant or something in my routine of course like alpha everything is like an antioxidant too yeah is it mm -hmm. so this is the reason why i want to include vitamin c in my routine so i decided that i'm going to go with the ascorbic eight percent from the ordinary so i'm going to go with the ascorbic eight percent plus alpha arbitin from the ordinary yes i decided that i'm going to go with that one i was looking at a lot of them but i just i don't know i just love the ordinary it's just affordable and you get a lot of stuff that you want and you can use them according to what you want you know what i'm saying so i realized that i wanted some vitamin c in my routine like do you need vitamin c you haven't been using vitamin c why not i need to include vitamin c in my routine so i'm gonna get a double dose of brightening you know what i'm saying yes because now that i have a, this little hyperpigmentation here I don't want it to get worse. I'm still using my alpha arbitin, but I want to double it up with some vitamin C, the ascorbic, uh, ascorbic 8%. So that's what I'm going to include in my routine. So I'm going to get the alpha arbitin to inhibit um, melanin, and I'm also going to get the vitamin C to inhibit melanin. Plus, it's going to act as a barrier to protect my skin yes so it's going to act as a barrier to protect my skin from the free radicals that comes through the uv rays to damage your skin cells i want to try this is not really an ingredient this is more like a brand the good molecules i really really want to try i know that i've been talking about them a lot and that's because i looked at the ingredients and so forth so remember that i'm using my glycolic acid toner and i told you that that's not going to come out of my routine period okay but guess what 
I don't always want to I don't always want to use an exfoliating toner like even in the morning times when I'm using like more aggressive stuff in the night I want to use something gentle nothing that's going to be aggressive this is a brightening toner but it's more hydrating it has niacinamide it has ni niacinamide and vitamin c so i'm getting a double for my troubles my problem is hyperpigmentation so i want to ensure that i am doubling up on whatever ingredient that's going to help me to control my hyperpigmentation so this particular ingredient it has niacinamide and vitamin c so i want to be using that in the morning time when i'm toning that's going to help to brighten but that's going to be a more gentle hydrating type of brightening um toner so whenever i'm using my uh, exfoliating toner I could I can use that in the evenings and then I can use my brightening toner that's a little bit more gentle in the daytime so we're going to invest into good molecules that brightening toner the niacinamide and so forth all right and I'm also going to continue using my hydrating cleanser so the good molecules toner the hydrating cleanser in the mornings and my other serums and so forth vitamin C alpha arbutin niacinamide etc 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 and then in the evenings now I use my glycolic acid and my more aggressive um, serums and then that's just going to help to protect my skin using my acne cleansers and so forth spot treating and so forth yeah yes we're going to try these ingredients next month so expect to see a haul and maybe i'll get other stuff it depends on what i see i'm not gonna like go on a purchase what i don't need uh, i also need i haven't been using i haven't been using the benzoyl peroxide to spot treat i've never used benzoyl peroxide to spot treat like i have never really had acne acne problems i have had pick pimples like one or two pimples but not really acne 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 where i had to get like benzoyl peroxide i used i get pimples that come like today and then two days later they are gone and then i pick them but nowadays i'm getting like pimples and they're lasting so long okay and i think like little breakout that i had i explained all of the reason why i think i had that breakout but i want to be able to deal with my pimples if they come i want to be able to deal with them in a way that they will never return you know what i'm saying yeah so i think that i'm going to get the benzoyl peroxide spot treatment i don't know which one i'm going to get but i don't really think that it matters which one because benzoyl peroxide itself it's formulated to work yeah it's like a, one of those cheap ingredients that actually works it doesn't matter the price or the cost of the benzoyl peroxide but i'm going to look into one that is affordable and also effective so yeah and it's going to be drugstore guys not over six dollars maybe like five or four dollars yeah yes guys so as i said before maybe five or six dollars nothing expensive okay and last but not least guys i really and truly want to try the fenty beauty the fat water i really want to try that i don't really want to try the cleanser or the moisturizer because i i have an idea of how they are going to work and so forth but the fat water is what excites me the essence that's what it's called toner essence thingy yeah i really really want to try it I love how it looks I don't know if it's going to work for my skin but I would definitely want to try that I'm going to have to say for like Fenty because if y'all know me I don't spend like more than ten dollars for skincare yeah but Fenty is like you know bougie kind of expensive for me for me cuz I am yeah <laughs> but I would so want to try the Fenty Beauty the fat water yeah i love everything about how it sounds like the fat water fat water sounds really nice so i definitely want to try that out but this is it for me guys i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you think about the video and about my backdrop and sorry about the yeah sorry about the noise in the background yeah but they're doing construction and i want to film my video and i'm not gonna 
you know yeah sorry if it's annoying but this is it for me guys hope you enjoy this video see you in the next one bye bye